Factor 11 inhibitors offer a potential solution for unmet needs in anticoagulation therapy by effectively preventing thrombosis with little or no increase in the risk of bleeding. Several classes of Factor 11 inhibitors are in clinical development, including antisense oligonucleotides, monoclonal antibodies, and small molecule inhibitors. Antisense oligonucleotides are designed to bind to and degrade the mRNA of Factor 11, thereby reducing its expression and activity. Factor 11 RX was the first generation Factor 11 directed antisense oligonucleotide to undergo clinical evaluation. Factor 11 RX was replaced by fesomersin, a ligand conjugated antisense oligonucleotide with higher potency than Factor 11 RX due to its hepatic targeting. Several monoclonal antibodies targeting Factor 11 are in advanced stages of clinical development. They bind to Factor 11 or Factor 11A and either induce conformational changes, block the active site, or prevent activation, thereby inhibiting Factor 11 activity. Monoclonal antibodies offer the potential for potent and selective inhibition of Factor 11 with a long half-life that allows for less frequent dosing. Additionally, antibodies have no associated drug-drug interactions and are not cleared by the kidneys. Monoclonal antibodies currently under investigation include abelacimab, ososimab, zisimab, Regeneron 9933, and Merck 2060. Small molecule factor 11 inhibitors function by binding reversibly to the active site of factor 11A, thereby inhibiting its enzymatic activity. They offer the potential for oral administration, thereby potentially improving patient convenience compared with injectable agents. The small molecule factor 11A inhibitors in clinical development include Milvexine, Asundexine, ONO7684, and ONO5450598. Potent and specific parenteral factor 11A inhibitors with short half-lives may be useful for preventing clotting in extracorporeal circuits such as ECMO. Factor 11 inhibitors have the potential to address several unmet needs in anticoagulation, including providing safer options for patients at high risk for bleeding.